All right, the debate over executive compensation for executives whose companies received government bailout money has been going on for months, as you all know. But Representative Adolphus Towns added a new little wrinkle to the debate while on Squawk Box yesterday morning. Listen to this. And if you're going to use federal dollars, I think that we should put a limit in terms of income. When you look at uh, baseball teams now and, and basketball teams, I mean, uh, they are now coming up with uh, a structure that brings about a limit as to how much they can pay you know, a team. And I think that we need to do the same thing. Salary caps for banks. Should there be salary caps for TARP recipients? Let's bring in Phil Kirpin, Policy Director at Americans for Prosperity. We also have Rob Shapiro, Chairman of Sonicon and former Undersecretary of Commerce. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Phil, am I wrong to think that this is not totally crazy? I mean, if you limit the bonus pool to a certain you know, percentage of a bank's profits or something like that, and then you say that they can divide it up however they think. If they want to give the entire thing to Jamie Dimon, go ahead. If you want to spread it out of the company, do whatever you think is right. You have that freedom. But there's essentially a salary cap on the bank. It's not a terrible idea, is it? Well, I think it is a terrible idea. I think any time you have a price control, I think any time you have a price control, you're going to have supply shortages. And if you try to suppress wages here with artificial restrictions that come in from, from outside, come in from government, you're going to lose talent that we need at these companies if they're going to be able to make profit and pay back the taxpayer. I think the time to limit it was at the front end. We should have limited some of the taxpayer assistance to these companies. Now we've got to have an exit and they've got to have the best talent possible to do that. And I'll point out that that's how baseball works. There is no salary cap in baseball, despite what Congressman Towns suggested. And the basketball one has a huge loophole because you can re-sign your own players above the cap. So you know, right. I think maybe Maybe it baseball is a good football. model, but that's because there's no cap. Rob, does it work in football? Would it work for banks? No, I don't think it would really work for banks. No but, supporters. Uh, but at the same time, this. that doesn't mean that <laughs> we can't put in place effective reforms. The problem with the current system, which, which currently pays CEOs on average 250 times what an average worker makes, 250 times, as compared to 12 times in Japan and 20 times in France, is that executives are making are setting their own compensation they the ceos appoint the compensation committees from from the boards of directors it often includes the executives whose salaries are being set and they ask themselves how much can we conceive we would like why not let the owners decide why not have the compensation of every executive who makes a million dollars or more be subject to a mandatory shareholder vote every year. Because it's not realistic. It's not well, really possible to do that. Of course it's realistic. Well, I think that proposal underscores realistic. what this is really about. It has nothing to do with the TARP companies. Barney Frank has been open on this. The TARP companies are being used as guinea pigs for the restrictions that they'd like to see on executive compensation economy-wide. I think it would be disastrous to impose further restrictions. We tried to do it with the million-dollar cash salary cap in the Clinton era. It had huge unforeseen consequences with the use and abuse of options to innovate around that. And and I think we need to be very, very careful with restrictions because either you're going to get a supply shortage and we'll lose a lot of talent or it'll be innovated around. It'll have unforeseen consequences that actually make things worse. Those are the only two possibilities. In capitalism, why shouldn't owners decide what what the executives are are paid? Why should In principle, they owners that? should decide. But the difficulty we have is well, that large have institutional investors are motivated year. by something other than the profit motive. They have a political agenda. You've got union controlled pension funds and they will pursue things that owners, are not in shareholder interest. If you give them greater pursue, power, the owners can pursue whatever interest they want. That is a prerogative of ownership. Well, I think when you're talking about large pools of capital that exist as a result of government policy, I'd be very hesitant so to give them more the power to influence corporate for board themselves, rooms. And the owners should absorb the loss. Launch a proxy fight if you want to challenge management. That's or, how or it ought to be done. Or sell the stock. You could sell the stock. Yeah. So what yeah. happens here, uh, Phil Kirpin? Uh, while Melissa picks herself up, having you know gone this down this road, and I thought it was a she's got to come up with Plan B. And that was not, not Plan C. But Phil Kirpin, what do you do here? Because people are saying that the banks that are tarped, okay, you know, the government is the shareholder. So that is an exception to the overall private enterprise rule. How do you respond to that, Phil? Well, I think that first of all. 
understand that a lot of the people who want these pay restrictions want to then extend them to everywhere else. So we should be very cautious so for, they for setting that precedent. You're saying they want to broaden it. This is they not do. just for TARPs. This that, is going to be laying down the law for all, yeah. all private companies. And Barney Frank has been open about this being sort of a test run for broader executive compensation restriction. But I think the TARP context is very difficult, as you pointed out. We've got taxpayer money in these companies. Taxpayers are legitimately angry when they're paying for huge salaries and bonuses. Unfortunately, I think it's kind of an unsolvable problem problem other than to get paid back and get government out of the business of owning banks. And I think towards that end, we ought to do anything okay. we can to encourage well, them to not. make more money and pay we're, us back. We're out of time, guys. I'm sorry. I accept defeat as gracefully as possible. No, nope, that's it. That's it. I have no fallback. Nothing. That's it. I, I, it was a spirited debate. I appreciate it from both of you. I lost. It's okay. Trish, take it away. I don't know. I, I'm just wondering what happened to my favorite libertarian.